Ashley asked me to have a baby with him when we was both down at Azalea's garden. And to hear them words come out of his mouth was a sign of relief to think that we could possibly reunite and become a family again. But in that same conversation didn't come with the news of, shall we get back together and have a child? How did you feel when he told you that he was gonna have a baby with somebody else? And knowing that that was, baby was conceived within weeks of him asking you if you'd like to have a baby with him? Finding Ashley was going to have a baby with somebody else was like a hurricane that hit me. I was winded and I was taken by surprise and shock. I absolutely thought Ashley would come back to me. Having a family as a unit again was something that I conversated with Ashley about when we was together. I was ready to start again with him by my side to welcome another child into this world and be the united family together to make Azalea proud to so she could watch down on us and she could cheer us on. I couldn't do it. Like, it actually pained me to even think that I would have to tell her that she's having another sibling, but it's not from mummy. <laughs> is oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep myself together. <laughs> to try and explain that to my daughter is, is so alien that I just couldn't do it. And I've not been able to congratulate Ashley. I've not been able to tell my daughter that she has another sibling because I can't even find the strength and the layers within me to dig deep to have that conversation. The evening where the news broke, I was going in to present an award at the NBCC. Now walking into a room with over a thousand people when this news has just dropped, I had to layer up with armor, I layered up with strength, and I carried the resilience that my daughter had given to me. I'm feeling like I'm trapped in my body, like I'm, I'm sad, I'm upset, I'm disappointed, I'm let down, I'm now, feeling like embarrassed publicly. And I know I shouldn't be. And I know that my following is holding me together. Now, I never thought in a million years that I would be sat speaking here. However, the news got loud. Then it got louder. Then it got louder. Then there was live TV. Then there was, live, then there was interviews on different channels. And I just felt like I was sinking. I am grieving all over again. And although I didn't communicate because I just believed, I didn't communicate it because I just thought coming to me and asking me, can we have another child together, was a step closer. It was a step closer to us coming back together. Maybe that's my bad, but my dreams are just shattered. I have my nephew, nephews, my goddaughter, who I love so, chokes me. I love them so much. I find it difficult playing and engaging in so many activities with them because Azalea should be with Noah, playing with her cousin at Christmas. Azalea should be best friends with Luna, who's my goddaughter. Me and her mum are best friends. You know, these are things that should be happening. 
I'm unable to deliver what I would love to deliver. So being able to face, see Azalea's sibling, being able to engage. Right now, I don't see that possibility. As a woman, I've got so many layers of strength. But this one just cuts that bit too much. 